Well, America has two kinds of people, campers and non-campers. But what if you love the great outdoors, but you just can't do without those amenities of the great indoors? That is a dilemma. Well, there is a compromise. It's called glamping. CBS mm. News national correspondent Ben Tracy takes us on a camping trip where you never have to rough it. In this place where a river runs through an ocean of big Montana sky. Delicious. You'll find plenty of this. Ooh, that came out nice. Lunch on the camp stove, tents in the grass, and swimming under the warm summer sun. Yet for those with more outsized outside expectations. It's not camping. It's not, there's nothing about it that's camping. There is also this. Welcome to glamour camping. How about glamping? Perhaps the most glam of the glamping is done here at Paws Up, a 37,000 acre luxury campsite resort near Missoula, Montana. What do you think is the appeal? I think people are looking to reconnect with nature, but they're actually not willing to go through the pains of doing it. And the, lane I love, and the Brewer family came here to celebrate their father Tom's 70th birthday. We love the outdoors, so when you cap it off with a little bit of luxury, what more could you ask for? Apparently, you can ask for a lot. Inside the so-called tents are Ritz-Carlton-like rooms, hardwood floors, high-end beds. Some even come with attached bathrooms, complete with heated tile and walk-in showers. There is electricity, so you can also have a hot bed and hot hair. Of course, luxury tents come with a luxury price. These start at about $900 for two people per night, although they do throw in your food. It's not hot dogs. These gourmet meals are fired up by your own personal camp chef. Here, here. And the glamping version of wilderness guides. I hate to say butler, but that's what he is. That would be Matt. I love my job. I tend to everything that the guest needs. He helps serve the meals, provides tent turndown service, and also splits his time setting up and lighting up your campfire. These campground custodians will even take on the ultimate evening chore, s'mores. What's the oddest thing a guest has asked for? The oddest thing a guest has asked for? Well, we did have a guest request if we could somehow find a way to dim the noise of the river. Yet here the flow of nature cannot be stopped. When people go to bed, you're going to hear the river, you're going to be in the wilderness, you're going to hear nature. And when the dark of night loses its early morning fight, there is work to do. Glampers head out to round up some of Montana's famous cattle or find themselves at home on another range. Even if this level of luxury isn't quite what they're used to. It's not the Ritz in Paris and it's not, you know, it's not the Sandy Lane in Barbados, right? So, so it's, you know, you, you feel like, uh, like you've, you know, you're out in the wilds for sure. So it's not glamorous, I wouldn't say. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, he may want to check out the spa tent. And there's even a gym for those who really want to get away from all that nature. Yet in the end, what draws campers and glampers alike is being in the great outdoors. That is why we love it. I'm sitting here not looking at a pool at a hotel with a bunch of people in their bikinis, but at this beautiful river. And you have outlets. Yes. <laughs> and I can still curl my hair in the morning. It's the best in the world. <laughs> Or there's always the natural look. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Greeno, Montana.